Hello, my name is Bex, B-E-X-X -X, with Black Whisper Crafts. Thank you for joining me today, and I am participating in Martha's ha hashtag, which is hashtag Make Art with Martha, and her channel is Martha Makes Art, and I will link her channel. I will tag her in it, and I will use the hashtag, and I will also link her video with September's prompt in the description box so you can go check it out what it's all about and you can see everyone who's participating there's some really awesome things people are creating and for the month of September Martha has set the prompt for cats you can do cats anything anything cats and if you don't want to use the prompt that is fine also just as long as you will um, use the hashtag make art with Martha and tag her in the description or the title so she can go watch your video. This is um, what I started with for mine. This is Vintage Memories. It is from Joann's. And there's a lot of just randomness in this and I don't mind. I like fuss cutting. I like cutting things out. So I will take these type of things and just while my love is watching TV or program, I am always doing some crafting or something right there beside him. I just can't sit very long and not do something with my hands. So I cut these out. See, cut them out in good size sections. I did some of these. Well, I cut out most of them in his pages. Let me see the other one that so you can get a little example of what I used today. And this is, like this piece here, it's a bit big to do anything with, but it makes a nice tag or a journal card or something like that. So I cut all the pieces out like these. See, those are little tickets. You can make those into something. But I just go ahead and cut everything out like this instead of keeping it like this I have a little tote and when that totes full then I stop cutting for a while and then whenever the little tote starts getting empty then I go back and find some more pages but these are nice because they already have uh, lines and things on the back so I'm going to make some journal cards out of them and the ones that didn't have lines or blank space in the back then I just covered them with my coffee dyed or tea dyed paper. Let me show you my little tote real quick. I just kind of organize them according to size. Just the smaller ones up to the bigger ones and like these, I used some of these too in this project today. That they're, when you cut them up, they'll like be like on the end and there's really not really much of anything to it. So I just <clears throat> used coffee dyed paper and covered the back. And then you'll see what I did for the journal cards covering the fronts. Those are the odds and ends, but that's mainly what I used today. So I'll show you the inks I use, and as I go along, you'll be able to uh, remember or recognize the inks. I use Distress Ink H Mahogany. I use the Ranger archival the permanent vintage photo and ground espresso and black soot use those inks and I had a little kitty cat punch it's really tiny teeny tiny little bitty very tiny see this is a three by three and that's how tiny that punch is but it's really cute. I use this kitty cat punch. And of course I use my favorite bats punch from Stampin' Up. I really like that punch. And the, um, I use a lot of die cuts and I had already put them back. <laughs> so I wasn't going to dig them all back out because you'll see I use several different ones. So please forgive me for not showing you all of those. But I will show you the rubber stamps I used. I used this lace one. This is Stamping Up Southern Serenade and this is from a long time ago. 
but it's this piece of lace. If you know me at all, you know I love, love lace. So I used that lace piece there. That's one of the layers. And this is all kinds of spooky things. I'm not sure if you can see them or not. And I just stamp those on a piece of tea dyed paper or coffee dyed paper. Just stamp, I just leave it just like this and I just stamp the whole thing on a piece of paper and I cut out what I need. So that's where I got all of the little sentiments from there. And I also used my, it's a mess, but <laughs> it's from Timu, so it, I don't really bother that much with cleaning it because it's permanent ink and it dries, so. My spider web stamp, and I used my other favorite stamp, my Harlequin stamp, and it's also from Timu. It's a mess too, but I really like it too. And I use it a lot, but I use those four on the layering. I didn't use that one. Get that out of the way. So I'll just start right here. Let me get one of the bigger ones so you can maybe be able to see all the layering better. Well, not really, but I'll just show you. So what I did was, if you can see in the background on all of them, the first thing I did was I stamped with this spider web. I just inked it all up and just stamped it straight on there, just making sure that you could see that middle part, which it doesn't really matter when you layer everything up and you glue stuff on it, but that was just the focal point. Just I stamped all of them with the spider web first and then if there was any space left, like here on the side, there was some space left. So you can see where I stamped the Harlequin on the side there. I did the, um, did the spider web. I did that in black soot. And I did the Harlequin in the vintage photo. And I did the lace in H mahogany. You can see I just randomly, uh, stamped the lace and then I did a stamp off of here in the middle so you'll see lighter prints other places. So that was, that's the third one, two, third layer. And then the fourth layer, I did the um, sentiments. I did them in ground espresso and I just did it over the whole thing, just random. I just ink it up and just place it down and give it a good smush. So there are four layers on here. This one actually has five. I did some bats and they just really didn't stand out much at all for me. So I just, this is the only one that has any bat stamping, but I did four layers on there. So I thought that looked pretty good. Let me put this aside so the glare doesn't blind you. And as you see, the little witch, she has her kitty cat with her. And this one says, in the middle of the night, things were not what they seem. I thought that was cute and yeah she's just a silhouette to sit her in black and I just cut the ends of the sentiment when I cut them out I just did a fishtail on the end and then the back of it it's just got stuff all over it I was just making just making a mess but it was okay I don't mind because it looks all grungy and vintagey and spooky but there's one that one turned out really cute then here's the other cat that I used. There's a whole set of these crazy looking little cats with their little square tails curled up. And I used my key uh, die cuts, those cat die cuts, a lot of which die cuts, but here's a cat on this one. It says the dark and haunted room. So this cat is keeper of the keys. Really like that one, that one's cute. Then this one, I did the uh, graveyard scene, cemetery scene. I cannot remember which one. One of them is if it has a church attached to it. I don't remember. 
it's a spooky scene. Then there's the cat. She's it's sitting right there in the tree, watching the witch go by. And then there's a bat and a moon. And this one says, someone digging in the ground, which I thought that was pretty funny and appropriate for the graveyard scene. Then this one is a haunted house that I cut out of a book page. And then there's the cat, she's underneath the tree. And the moon again, and another bat. And there's some creepy little ghost. And this says, in the dead of night. Really spooky haunted house. That one's cute. I don't know if you can see it really well or not. Everything's kind of muted, but then you can feel it. I like texture things too. But yeah, the backs of all of them are pretty, pretty messed up, but I don't mind. I really like them. They're all creepy, creepy little eternal cards. And then here's another one with a little witch. And her kitty cat and there's this spooky ghost and it says the strange thing a strange thing happened vanishing visitors and her little uh, purse here was a jack-o-lantern trick-or-treating bucket but I just put some black on it so it looked more like a purse as I use creepy things all year round I'm not just a Halloween creepy person I'm all year round creepy then this one has another one of the little cats in it, and it's playing with the spider, of course the spooky ghost, and it says, in the middle of the night, ghost of the departed looked a bit frightened. <laughs> yes, I do love spooky, creepy things, so. Awesome, like that one too. And this one is the witch again and the different witch she's flying through the air and the bats but she's got her little kitty cat right there on the front of her broom and then there's also one sitting on the moon and it says the hallowed spot then the last one is kind of strange because a strange thing happened in the inky darkness those aren't bats, those are cat faces. And the cats are puzzled too. They're staring at the sky like, what is going on? It's just a strange thing in the inky darkness. And see the backs of these are just good to go. All of them. So yeah, there's cats, 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 cats. Lots of cats. <laughs> cats, cats, and cats. That is the prompt for the month. You do not have to use the prompt. What this is, you can just make whatever you want. But this is for the hashtag Make Art with Martha, hosted by Martha Makes Art. And on the 19th of the month, Martha gives a prompt, and you can use the prompt or not, either one. If you'll just use the hashtag Make Art with Martha so she can go check out your. Uh, what you made and add you to the list all those awesome things and I look forward to seeing what you create thank you so much for watching I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts have a wonderful day